Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. So since this has come out I have played it pretty much non-stop and I figured it was time that I start doing videos on it because actually there's a bunch of cool stuff in this game that I want to show as a video, especially as this game is so incredibly detailed. Even I, someone who has played this game for well over 30 hours already, am still discovering new things every single time I play this game. And so I figured there's lots of things to show you guys that you probably won't even know about. And I'm going to start off simple with what is supposed to be a list of some simple tips to get you started in this game. However, I reckon that some of you will perhaps have been playing already for many, many hours and some of this stuff you might not even know yourselves. So there should be something in this video for everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be checking out 17 must-know tips for Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's jump straight in. So let's start off with something simple as pressing the start button. If you want to get to the map, normally you would have to press start and then you come up and you get the selection for the map and you press A, then you go through to the map. It can be time consuming. You can get one step off of that just by holding down the start button in game and it will take you straight to the map. You can also use button holding to save time in many other ways too. Say you're looking through a catalogue and you're having to press B multiple times to get back out through the menus. If you just hold down B, it will instantly take you back out of the catalogue menu. Now if you're like me and you spend a lot of time playing this game just stopping and having a look at your surroundings, but you get annoyed with that HUD being there in the corner and you're sick of having to go through the menus and pressing start, going to settings, going to display and changing all of your stuff, there is a much simpler way and that is just by pressing the down button on the D-pad, where you can then select between regular, expanded, compass, or just off, and having the whole thing off completely. And also, whilst your HUD is off, or even when it's on, if you just tap the down button, you can get a temporary view of everything that's going on with your character. Moving on to some horse-related hints, if you ever come across a carriage or a stagecoach that you want to steal, but you want your horse to follow along, just hit the up button and you'll get your horse's attention and he'll follow you for the rest of your journey. Yep. If you're getting sick of having to ride around everywhere, why not get the game to do it for you? Set your waypoint, then whilst tapping or holding A, hold down the select button and you will go into cinematic mode and it will do all the riding for you. But please remember that it is still playing the game around you, which means that all random encounters that could happen can happen, which does include being robbed. So even if you are going to have this automatically ride for you, you might want to keep watching the game anyway. Now if you want to go one step further than that, there is a fast travel mode within Red Dead Redemption 2. Go to your ledger inside of your camp, make sure to upgrade Dutch's tent and then afterwards it will give the option to upgrade again and give you the fast travel map. Which also means you'll probably be investing enough of your money that you'll also get the give to the poor achievement whilst you're doing this as well. Then to use the fast travel map, you have to walk up to the map in your camp and then you can select from a bunch of areas that you have previously visited and it will take you over to that area. Bearing in mind, this is the only place you can use the fast travel. You can't use it within your map. It is purely to get you from your camp to one place. It isn't going to help you get from one place back to camp quickly again. Now, whilst you're out, if some unforeseen circumstances occur and you happen to lose your horse, there's one or two ways you can get this back again. Either you can go to the stables at any stable, any point in the game, and you can go ahead and retrieve your horse, or a bit of a more cheaty way, if you just save the game where you are and load the game again, the horse is then brought back to you. This is also useful if you are carrying legendary animal skins, for example, because it doesn't get rid of those on the back of your horse when you load the game again. Onto some survival tips now, and if you can't be bothered to use a fishing rod, just shoot the fish. Sure, it's not going to help you do any fishing achievements or anything like that, but if you simply just want some fish to eat or sell, just use a gun, use an arrow, throw it in the sea. If you need help trying to find things, using Eagle Eye can help you find trails of animals or show you where herbs are. You might even be able to spot some odd animal behaviour and you can find things such as bats, which you wouldn't really be able to spot normally. If you're out hunting and you happen to be short on arrows or ammunition, you can just use the lasso to grab an animal and then you can reel it in and stab it brutally instead. Once you've been hunting and obtained some pelts, make sure to never sell your perfect skins to the butcher. You either want to donate these to Pearson in the camp or you want to save them to sell to the trapper later on for use in crafting satchels, saddles and new outfits. 
On to some fighting tips now, and did you know that if you run up to any person and press Y or triangle, you can pin them to the ground. If you've got your fists, you punch them. If you've got a knife, you can give them a little stab. If you run up to them with a gun, once you've pinned them to the ground and pull the trigger, you can actually point blank shoot them in the head. For the more honorable cowboys and cowgirls among you, just use the lasso, run up to someone, pin them to the ground, and you tie them up straight away. No having to worry about throwing a rope and missing and all that nonsense, just grab it, tie them, and run. If you're playing in first person mode and you want to get some more realistic gun control, hit the down on the arrow pad whilst you're aiming to aim down the sights. Alternatively, just don't aim at all. Hit the trigger button and fire from the hip. Actually, my experience made shooting a lot easier and definitely more fun. Also, the quick draw mechanic to get straight into dead eye from the holstered gun by slowly pushing down on the right trigger also works just as well outside of dueling. And there we are, 17 must know tips for Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope that someone has got at least one thing from this video that you hadn't learned before. And it'd be interesting to know in the comment section below if there was something in this video that you didn't know. Perhaps you know something else that I haven't covered. You can just let me know in the comment section below because I could even be learning from you with these comments because there is, again, so much stuff in this game that I definitely haven't covered everything and I haven't discovered everything yet. Even though it feels like there couldn't be anything else I could possibly discover, I, it, this game constantly seems to surprise me. So there we go. That's it. This, as I've said at the start of the video, this isn't going to be a replacement for GTA 5. This is just, uh, it's a Rockstar game, so hopefully you guys should also be interested in this if you are interested in GTA 5. But really it's because I want to branch out a little bit from doing Grand Theft Auto, because as great as that game is, it has been out for a while, and I'd like to do some other stuff on this channel, so hopefully you guys will be okay with that, and will let me uh, just explore and have fun with some other games. Although, I still want to try and keep it either within car-related stuff, or Rockstar-related stuff, so that's pretty much how you can categorize this channel. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. There should have been some comments at the start, I didn't really talk about it at the start, but they are featured comments if you would like your comments featured. You can leave some in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you've played this game or if you've not played this game. Maybe you just want to see me play this game through my videos and you don't have any intentions of buying it. Maybe you're just waiting for it to come out on PC. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.